I'm sure you all know that John's the uh, banqueting manager here at the Chester and uh, you might be, when you're having your meal, you might see Joanne up and round the tables. <laughs> you're probably thinking, oh it's nice that she's mingling, but chances are she'll be saying, is everything okay with your meal? Is that? <laughs> but we've asked her not to, we've asked her to stay out of it, but hopefully she will. As Minister of St Macers, it is my pleasure and my privilege to welcome you all here today to share in this happy family occasion. I hope to share and not just to witness the vows that uh, Joanne and Ryan will make. Now, on behalf of Elaine and I, and Charlie and Colleen, I'd like to thank you all for coming along today to help us celebrate this special occasion. I know some of you have come a long way, and we've got people from all over, we've got people locally, but wherever you've travelled from, thank you very much. I hope you've had a, a nice afternoon so far, and more importantly, we're going to have a nice evening. We have gathered here in this special place to witness the vows of Joanne and Ryan. We are here to offer them our continuing love and support and today, we rejoice in the uniqueness of their marriage. Many years before we knew Joanne and Ryan were going out together, Elaine was telling me that um, she'd noticed on Facebook that uh, Joanne had Ryan as a Facebook friend. And of course, she says to Joanne, How do you know Ryan Taylor? To which Joanne replied, How do you know Ryan Taylor? <laughs> so, as it turns out, there's actually been a, a sort of link between the two families for some, for some time. Elaine and I stayed in Torrey, I believe Charlie and Colleen stayed in Torrey. Joanne's grandma and granda and Ryan's grandma and granda knew each other through the church. And even Joanne's sister Laura and Ryan's sister Laura went to nursery school together. So there's been that wee link um, between the families and it's funny how we turned out and we're all here today. We believe that marriage is part of God's purpose for his people. So today, as Ryan and Joanne become husband and wife, we are confident that this deepening of their commitment to each other will lead to further joy in their lives. So, Joanne, my daughter, what can I say? It's actually it's been quite a difficult speech for me to find things to to say, John as a child was, was pretty good when she was born. And then as a child, she was always really content, John. And I hope she doesn't mind saying but we've got photos to prove it. But she was a chubby little kid. <laughs> <laughs> but she always had a great personality, John. <laughs> love is patient, love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful, or arrogant, or rude. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. And now faith, hope, and love abide, these three, and the greatest of these is love. Joanne did well through school and she went on to university at RGU. And then when she passed uh, uni, we were extremely proud um, when she got her first class honours degree. And of course, Joanne, we're extremely proud of you today and your marriage to Ryan. Joanne, you look absolutely stunning today. When I saw you walk down the aisle, you took my breath away. Who would have known five years ago when I swiped right <laughs> that I'd be standing here today? <laughs> the funny thing is, even though we might not have known each other before then, our paths had already crossed several times. Our mums knew of us, the two Lauras were at nursery together, where Joanne and I perhaps gazed at each other from our car seats. <laughs> Over the last five years we've shared some amazing memories and I can't wait to look back on today with even more. I feel like I'm the luckiest man in the world to have found someone so loving and caring. I love you so much and look forward to sharing this whole new world with you. If 
if I could ask you all to raise your glasses to my beautiful wife, Joanne. Brian, please repeat after me. Before God. Before God. And in the presence of our families and friends. And in the presence of our families and friends. I, Ryan. I, Ryan. Declare my love for you, Joanne. I declare my love for you, Joanne. And I give myself to you. And I give myself to you. As your husband. As your husband. I promise you my love. I promise you my love. My loyalty and my trust. My loyalty and my trust. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Joanne, please repeat after me. Before God. Before God. And in the presence of our families and friends. And in the presence of our families and friends. I, Joanne. I, Joanne. Declare my love for you, Ryan. Declare my love for you, Ryan. And I give myself to you. And I give myself to you. As your wife. As your wife. I promise you my love. I promise you my love. My loyalty and my trust. My loyalty and my trust. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. As a token of these promises, a symbol of your marriage, these rings are now given and received. Ryan, you give this ring in God's name, a sign of the endless love you have pledged to each other this day. Joanne, you give this ring in God's name, a sign of the endless love that you have pledged to each other this day. Joanne and Ryan, you have declared your love for each other before God and before this congregation. You have pledged that you will live together in Christian marriage in the words of your promises, in the symbolism of joining hands and the giving of rings. I therefore declare you to be husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, no one must separate. Ryan, you may kiss your bride. That's enough. <laughs> Ryan and Joanne, may the blessing of God rest upon you in the keeping of the promises you have made. May his holy presence sanctify your love and dwell richly in your lives this day and all the days of your life. As Ryan the Prince proposed to his princess, to seal their love indefinitely, and I for one could not be happier for him. Therefore, I would like you all to raise your glasses in a toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Taylor. And to finish off my speech, uh, I have got a a wee verse to do, as I'm prone to do, and at the end of that we'll, we'll raise a glass for a toast. At the start of the year we had a wee complication, when I got told I needed a big operation. But with Elaine by my side, Joanne, we thought of you, and of your special day where you would say I do. We shed a tear, it was hard to smile, would I be fit to walk you down the aisle? A nurse told us, it won't be easy, you might not feel great, but we'll get you ready for that special date. So with the support of family and friends, I'm getting better and on the mend. I managed to walk you down the aisle at least, even though it was to the tune of Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> I managed to do it without even crying and gave you away to your now husband Ryan. So the formality's over and my main duty's done, I can now relax and have some fun. As you know, I'd normally be itching to get up and dance, but not tonight, there'll be no eights and reels for me, no chance. I'll take things easy and have a beer and some nosh, but I'm sure I'll get up if I hear a slosh. 
But I hope our guests take my place and ensure on the dance floor there is no space. Because tonight we want to make sure that you all have fun to celebrate Joanne's marriage as we welcome Ryan as our new son. And for all you guests, you'll be glad you got this invite because I've heard Ryan's been practicing some dance moves for tonight. <laughs> and as far as the band's concerned, any kind of music goes, as long as they don't play head, shoulders, knees and toes. <laughs> And Joanne, this is your special day. I know you've worked hard and I know what it's meant, but you wouldn't have managed without the help of Ryan and his 10%. <laughs> so you're a tailor now, not a black, but that doesn't matter. To Elaine and I, you'll always be our middle daughter. <laughs> so I've managed to complete my duties today and I really only have one more thing to say. So without further ado, I'd like to ask everyone in the room to raise a glass to the bride and groom. The bride and groom. Ryan and Joanne, it's my pleasure to be the first among your family and friends gathered here to congratulate you on your marriage and to wish you every blessing in your married life together. Wherever life takes you in the future, don't forget it began here and there will always be a place for you here. Now may grace, mercy and peace from God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit rest upon you and remain with you this day and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>